Okay, I'm at 100 Axel in Newington Plantation. This property is on a corner lot with a huge front yard, which I think at some point may have had a circular drive, just because we've got this little mailbox deal right here. Um, but it, yeah, it's in a great spot. I mean, it's even got this like center turnaround deal. Granted, the front door is uh, boarded shut, but I'm gonna go in and take a peek around. Okay, this is the right side of the house with the two car garage and the side access. The roof looks fairly decent. You do have some curling shingles, but for the most part, I mean, they're curling at the corner. So um, I do see that there is some damage to the eave right here. You know, it just needs to be tucked back in. It's kind of a low little roof there. Um, right around the garage definitely needs to be resealed, but the garage doors look great. You know, the brick could be painted um, if you don't like the red, but it looks good. The siding looks good. I'm not seeing any cracking in the brick structure. Got a little plug right there. Could definitely cut this holly bush back because it's definitely crowding it. And Oh, your front door is not boarded, just the window is, because you have a uh, little courtyard here. Wait, I do see some brick damage or structural right here. So we've got some separation. So this is definitely a heavier point at the house. It just seems like it is sinking just a bit right there. House is not brand new though. Got some wood rot the window probably because we never had any gutters yeah we definitely got some significant separating right here as far as like sinking all right this one may not be for y'all might be more than you want to handle but brick elsewhere looks good let's go inside all right, I'm walking in from the side door. I've got no power, but as I come in, I'm coming into a bedroom. It has a bath. It's got somewhat of a closed up smell. We got a lot of wallpaper. Got some drywall damage there. Looks like they fixed some sort of water issue. I don't know what this piece is for. Nothing's damaged back there. Oh, here it is. They wanted to get to the plumbing at the sink. Old linoleum. This is the how the laundry room. This is where it leads you out. You got a ceiling stain up there again. That roof could go. This is the outside of the backyard. Got your unit here. Looks like someone's left some fuses up there. Got a pump. House is completely fenced, or yard is. Got lights all the way around. Gosh, they are all the way around, look at that. Pool is covered, could be in good shape. Could not. <laughs> Beautiful palms though. I mean, you got four enormous palm trees. Five, sorry, six. Good Lord. Again, we'll look at the back of this house right here. Just some moss. Believe it or not, the roof still looks intact. Just curling on some of the edges. But still, I'd get rid of it. <coughs> Let's go back in. Come on, bed. Ash is here. He's protecting me. So coming straight across, this is your garage. Somehow we're getting water inside because this is freestanding pool of water. I can see that the slab over here in the garage is cracked. So maybe that heavy rain got in. You've got a central vac unit and your HVAC is in your garage along with your breaker. There's a attic access, no offense, but I'm not going up there. 
coming all the way through. Yucky, right where the refrigerator was. Clearly they never cleaned. But this is your kitchen. Leads into the living room with beautiful beams. Maybe if this wall could be taken down. Looks like they took a portion of it down. You got it kind of a see-through right there. Another ceiling stain here. Someone's tried to take the wallpaper down and then this is a really large eat-in space with your pantry. Coming on into the living room, you have a fireplace with a blower. It's an insert, as you can see. Oop, another water stain. Roof's gotta go. Okay, that's that opening. I'm backing up. You really can't see in here, but this is a bath. Sorry, and I can't really see anything. Have to come on a non-rainy day. Love these double doors in the foyer. However, I do see a slope going towards this porch. Definitely the porch is too heavy because um, it's totally cracking the slab all the way out to the porch. So even you can see where they... It's funny. It's the dang porch. The whole house is apparently on good footers except for the stinking porch <laughs> uh, you got some stained glass in the front window i think you're just missing some panes the exterior so that's why they boarded it up missing a pane there you got a ceiling leak there a little decorative piece on your chandelier these are all really large rooms i mean enormous yeah this is causing a fracture here just because of the weight of that front porch area. So if that's the only place you have to repoint the brick, that's awesome, but still it would have to be done. This right here is a large linen in your hall. And I do believe your master is this back bedroom. It's quite large. Ooh, it's quite large. Believe it or not, this carpet, if it were clean, you could probably salvage it. The pad on it is phenomenal. I feel like I'm walking on a cloud. Got your old school intercom system. Don't know how much you'll be able to see. Decent sized walk-in closet. Looks like they cut into the drywall to get to some plumbing in there. Double sink vanity. Just the popcorn ceiling's coming down, but it's not wet. Probably humidity. Full tiled bath, shower. Looks like they've done some re around it. Just poorly done. I think if the whole bath were reglazed, that'd probably look a lot better. Uh, let's go back out. Again, very, very large master. I love these old houses. They just did them right. Okay. Next bedroom, Ooh, still very big, little mural. Carpet definitely needs to be clean, needs to go well. And then here's more where we're seeing the front, what was that? The front of the home um, separating because of the weight of that porch. The porch is on the other side right here and they've pulled back the the pad so you can see the break because it's just weighing it down. Again. Okay, sorry. I wasn't sure if I caught all this. So this is the large closet. You do need to replace another window. Again, I think you need to replace all the windows because they are all dated. And again, this is on the other side of the foyer, which is on that side. Um, so you can see that the slab is cracked here. Ash has pointed it out. Um, so it's all that weight from all that brick on that big old foyer or uh, front porch that needs to be lifted up. Um, three bedrooms. Well, technically four bedrooms. Three full baths. Um, you've also got a living room. 
a family room, a dining room, uh, a large Egyptian kitchen. Um, that fourth bedroom has its own bath. It's all the way over here on the other side of the laundry room. Um, it, you know, could be like pool, you know, clean up space. Um, speaking of the pool, you have a large lot, a really large lot. Um, lots done in the back with this pool. Could be a great pool, don't know. Has all the equipment. Um, huge corner lot. I mean, it's it's really nice. I can see potential. I think you can salvage the kitchen for the most part. These cabinets look really nice. Um, ditch the countertops, of course. Buy all new appliances. Um, new light fixtures throughout the house. Maybe shave off the popcorn. Love these beams. I'd pull the insert out. Um, just would look better. And, you know, even that... I don't know if I really like that mantle. I like the top piece, but not those sides. But anyway, uh, I think it's got great potential. But yeah, that front uh, porch is going to cost us in order to, you know, get that picked up and level out and looking good. But um, yeah, if you're interested, let me know.